foot first serve Here, over to Federico Staxrud. Nice quick counter at the kitchen for Federico Staxrud. Cat and Mouse, the name of his game. Yep, and you see the anticipation. He kind of held his ground, knew Noe Clef wasn't going to be able to get around that and beat him cross court. Zero, zero. He's waiting with the backhand volley. Cliff can come up with some scrappy points on his side. And his team also in Major League Pickleball moving on to zero, Orlando. Zero. Made the top four cutoff. He'll be in the premier level as well. Wild that time. Sails on him a little bit. You saw the, the footwork wasn't there, right? The, the feet weren't in the correct position. And pickleball can sometimes be unforgiving. If you don't hit it in the middle of the paddle, zero, zero. you know, the ball can fly or it can go bottom of the net. Point. Cliff looking over at the umpire. Assures him the ball is wide. <laughs> what a get. Nice. Oh, no. Cliff gets Staxrude where he wants him for the sign out. I saw the movement from Staxrude there. I have a friend. Staxrude lives in, and trains in, in Florida. And Zero I have a tennis colleague that is a tennis director at the club that he that Federico trains at and said he is there 6 30 a.m. training after that right to the gym after that back to the court for oh, kind of practice more open play point situation so he's someone that truly like goes out there and puts his 10,000 hours in and perfects his craft and he shows he's number one in the world now in the singles ranking yeah, great insight there by you Right it's no mistake that he's number one. It requires that kind of dedication, especially to take down a guy like Ben Johns in the ranking. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, you know, if you go back a year ago, pickleball, the, one. you know, some people would joke about it. Ah, oh, a pickleball player, you know. Right like, <laughs> how much can you actually practice? Well, these top, that's not only Federico, all these other top players, when they're not at tournaments, they're practicing five, six days a week, five, six hours a day, and that's why they're so good and so talented. One zero. Nice. Oh. Too good. Just kind of curls it in down the line. Has pickleball gained more respect amongst your tennis colleagues and former pros that you're good friends with? It absolutely has. I think a lot of the Tennis professionals are starting to see how talented these players are and and, and the work they're putting in Side out. You know in the schedule they're they're traveling across the u.s. For now half the year, but we know next year. There's some there's some events in Australia and Asia and Europe and India So we'll see how it kind of takes over the rest of the Zero world, two. but yeah the, um, the The tennis community is is more impressed with these athletes um, every day now Side out Two, zero. Not so good Point. from Staxford. Three nothing lead. Game one. Working no way. Cliff to both corners. And Staxford's so talented on the backhand. I mean, forehand volley. But this shot right here. You know, it's not a tennis volley. He just comes underneath or comes kind of behind it with topspin. Places it in the Three, corner. Zero. He can hit that wherever he wants. Down the line, cross court, short angles. He's very talented on that side. Side out. Tough break off the tape. What do you think it is about his technique that makes him such a force with that backhand roll? You know, that's what I'm not sure at. I remember I've yeah. I've talked with other players. Federico's technique on all the shots is almost a, it's a little awkward actually mm. i kind of think his his forehand looks a little Zero, strange three. and serve but it's it's very effective 
point. And on that backhand side, I think Reverend part of it is he's very strong the the outcall, on the right rotator cuff. One, he can hold it out there. He's got now strong wrists, strong review. forearms. Ellie Cliff breaks up. Covering the socials one, for. All right, that should be fun. we got John Isner, Dirk Nowitzki, Jenna Bandy, Chris Humphreys, and a handful of others. They had that event here last year. It was, it was packed. It was a fun time. So I'm sure this year it's going to be even bigger and better. Two, three. That is silly. Holy smokes. Right out. And we had a perfect angle of that from up here. You could mm -hmm. see how much cut and backspin was on that. Here's another look at it. There's the backhand touch shot. Three, two. Too good from Fed. And Satzer just places it in a place where he knows how to adjust his court positioning afterwards. It's like he's he's funneling the ball where he wants it to go at the next shot. Exactly, and that's a very tough thing to do to hit a shot in anticipation for your next shot. Four, two. You know, it's like he's 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 playing chess and, th and thinking a move ahead. Side out. Two, four. Side out. Just a simple one two punch. Stack screwed is so good on the serve and return about finding depth. Four, I feel two. like the serve is always, you know, within Point. three, four feet of the baseline, and the return, same thing. Returns it deep. He's really mastered the those two shots. And on the singles court, it's so the depth is so important on the serve and return. If yeah. you can hit a serve and keep your opponent back, it's that's Five, a home run. Two. It's the same as hitting an ace in tennis. Two. Eight p.m. Eastern time tonight, 7 p.m. local. Point. Like to show up. The ball decided to not bounce. No way, Cliff, with the swing and miss. We've all been there in pickleball. 7 2. These balls can get slightly lopsided at times and get some funky right bounces. Out. And over on grandstand, Paris Todd and Kate Fahey squaring off. Paris Todd takes the first by a score of 11-7. Surprised by that at all? Two, the seven. way Kate Fahey's playing? I'm not. It, it, that truly feels like a 50-50 matchup to me. I know they're they're seated in this draw 8-9, but in my mind, they're both kind of the the fourth and fifth best players in, in women's right singles right now. And that's just kind of a an unfortunate draw for both of those ladies. Feathery touch volley there from Federico Staxrud. He's been throwing in the drop volleys in suspicious situations, unpredictable. And you have to do that against a player that as, is as mobile as Noah Cliff is. You sure do. And I mean, all these. If you play singles now on the on the men's tour or the women's tour. Oh! oh. oh, oh, oh. He got it. Oh my. I was just going to say, you have to be a great athlete, and they just proved the point right there, right? You can't play singles nowadays in pickleball and, and be a so-so athlete. You have to be a great mover, and that was on showcase here. Look at that shot. Cliff reads it. And for Federico to have the heads-up playability to just track it down on its way back over. Well defended point. by No Way Cliff. That's what a lot of these players are so good at. You have to be so aggressive with your movement up and then have touch with Nine, your hands. Two. It's tough to be, you know, you kind of go hard and aggressive with your legs, but then soft with your right touch. Out. You kind of, your brain is working both, yeah, both that's, ways. It's an interesting point for sure. Who do you think singles across the board does the best job at that? Probably this man right here. Yeah. Federico Staxgard and, and Ben Johns. You know, we've watched Ben. Two, he nine. looks effortless out there, but 
it's really, it's not effortless. Side out. Nice to the backhand off the paddle of Staxrud over to No Way Cliff. Nine two. Point. Those are the misses that Cliff can't have. He's going to win this match. If you're going to beat the number one player in the world, you pretty much have to play a flawless, flawless match. And he's got to look ahead to game two at this point. Right? Take a, a little momentum. We said in the, la in the, in the last match with, with Lane Sleeth. Inside out finish for Federico Staxrud right to the corner and a pass to match. 11 2 finish in game one. Is that our elite singles players, and now there's 50 of these guys. Yep. And then not to mention a look at the qualies nowadays. 128 Two guys and only eight Two, time made in. it through. Zero, zero. Point. It's great for the sport. You know, the sport's growing, it's healthy. More good players, good athletes are coming over, and not only on the men's side, on the, on the women's side as well. One, zero. Point. And we'll see if it takes these players. There's a wind. You know, it's windy right now. Sometimes when you switch sides, you got to get used Two, to the zero. new wind, downwind, into the wind. It could take you a little bit to kind of calibrate that internally. Side out. It's a nice touch shot from No Way Cliff, giving Federico Staxrud a taste of his own medicine with the cut volley on the backhand side. Zero two. Point. That's good. And inside the baseline, No Way Cliff finds the scoreboard a little bit earlier here in game two. And Cliff's into the win right now. I think they had on the other One, side, two. I don't think that ball drops because you see the, the height on that. That was actually up near Federico's Point. head when it went by him. So I think a lot of players kind of assume that that ball is going to go deep, but into the wind and with the spin that these players can create, players can get those balls to drop down into the court now. Two, two. Side out. Two, two. Side out. No way, Cliff finding some form. It's a great backhand. A lot of times it's difficult, especially for the men to hit the two-handed backhand because the paddles are so small. Two, it's hard two. to get both hands on the on the handle of the paddle. Boy. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of players, Federico included, they kind of, Three, two. that left hand, you know, they've got a finger up kind of on the paddle Point. to help a little bit control things. Four, two. for no way cliff five two lead on his side timeout receiver it, five two i was gonna say it's not a bad play to throw up lobs in this wind it's hard to get up and snap those that out here with the shot making that he's that he's put together and i'm curious yeah, i'd love to interview five, two. ben and, and know like does that bug you that yeah. federico overtook you he says it doesn't it's got to bug him right out. But I would imagine, it bugs me deep, yeah deep down i would imagine here's a fun fact for you at this event last year, No Way Cliff at Brookhaven Two, five. played in the 4-5-5-0 skill division, 19 to 34, and won it. Point. And look where he is now as Federico Staxrud finishes off the point. It's kind of fun. Right, yeah, how would you like that? You're in the, uh, the men's 4-5-5-0 division last year. You're playing No Way Cliff in the first Three, round. Five. You're in for a world of hurt. I feel bad for the guy that was in the final against him, like. Side out. That's 
what you can do in this game in singles. You can come in and, and make a difference or an impact Five, very three. quickly. Point. Miss for Fed. 6-3 lead for No Way Cliff. Cliff made a quarterfinal run Six, earlier three. this season. The Red Rock Open. Uncharacteristic slew of misses for Federico Staxford. You can see the frustration on his face on his face at the moment. It's all credit to Noe Cliff. He's seven three. Coming up with some shots, playing good defense. Point. And completely thrown Staxford off his game. Yeah. Had a few return errors. Eight three. After, after game one with the eleven two. I don't think anyone saw this coming. Point. And another one, no way Cliff looking to steal game two. Love this view of Proton Championship Court. Bird's eye perspective. Nine, three. Side out. That's nice. But that's frustrating if you're no way Cliff. You, you're, you know, you're up 9-3. Stack Screwed is visibly frustrated. You kind of come in and, and Stack Screwed hits kind of a nonchalant backhand winner Side that he's out. not necessarily trying to make, but it goes in and kind of ruins the momentum a little bit. <laughs> Does no a good way. job getting the ball right back. Cliff also recently made it to the quarterfinals Nine, in three. Vegas at the Cup. Knocked out by Dylan Frazier, but he's a player to watch. Side out. And both these players are, we're seeing a lot of international players now. I think these players are excited next year. I think I mentioned earlier, we've got a tournament in Australia, one in Europe, one in Asia, one in India. I believe there's one in Toronto next year. So three, nine. the game's continuing to grow outside the U.S. and. We're going to get more and more international players in this game. And while the battle continuing over on Grandstand, Paris Todd and Kate Fahey battling for points. Nine, three. It's the eight and nine seed battling to advance to the quarters. Ooh. Side out. Oh, it's wide, but that looked good, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Great body control from Noe Cliff. Just not only did he get out there and make a stab at it, but he was a he was Three, in nine. control and only missed it by a, a few inches. Point. Here's Four, a look nine. at it over on Grandstand. What we're looking at. Point. Come out receiver, 5-9. Enrico Saxer grabs it. You can see the drone from where five, we're sitting. Nine. That's pretty cool. Kind of floating around. Saxer just looking to add to the drama, apparently, of game two on a heater. Keeping Cliff stuck at nine. Six, They're going to answer points. It kind of appeared that... Cliff had game two locked up about five minutes ago, but drop right back in a battle. Lures in Federico Staxrud and Cliff polishes off the points for the sign out. Nine six. It's so good. I mean, you watch the slice over Side to out. the right and then just grabs the outer edge of it with his paddle to the left. And he's so talented on that side and can do so many things. You know, he's got options one through ten on that backhand side on the, on the high balls of what he wants to do. Six, nine. Side out.
Chris. Chris got to get off nine. He's nine, been six. stuck on nine, I feel like, for about six to eight minutes of real time. There's an opportunity. Point. Oh, it's wide. Game point for Cliff. Game point. So quick with his feet. There's no way Cliff Ten, six. tough to beat him laterally. Another shot, cat and mouse drawing Cliff up first to finish him deep. One game point saved by Staxrude. Staxrude had to work for that point. He had to, he was good, good job of being patient, just keeping the ball back cross court, back cross court, waiting for that right ball to hit the drop shot. Six, ten. Tied out. That's deep for Staxrude. Game point. Game point number two, no way Cliff. 10 6. Point it's game, 11 6. Takes the second, 11 6. For the king of singles. I have bad bunions. Wish they'd disappear. Sir, future me. And no bunions! How? Lapoplasty. Lapoplasty corrects bunions at the source, meaning you're back in sneakers in weeks. Lapoplasty. Weeks! The future of bunion surgery is here. Learn more at lapoplasty.com. Risks include infection, pain, and loss of correction. Staxrude zero, zero. in some trouble. No way. Cliff looking to make some waves in the draw. He'll be our first server. Point. Too good. No way. Cliff picks up where he finished in game two. And this is one of those days you're you're almost excited if you're playing inside. It's cold. Yeah, it's zero. windy. We see, uh, you know, they're kind of playing a lot of these singles matches. Let's see. Side out. Three or four of the courts are outside. We've got two kind of show courts inside. This is a nice day to be inside. That's chilly for sure. Especially for a lot of these Florida based, South Texas based players used to the heat. Inside in and a big rally from Federico Staxrude. And as the sport continues to kind of grow, we're seeing a lot of players move to either one, the one, Dallas one. area, South Florida, or Southern California. Similar, mm -hmm. to, similar to tennis, these good players, if you want to make... Oh, no, down goes tax Right out. He's oh. okay. You good? Part of being an athlete, he actually fell in a good way there. He realized he was going to fall, kind of let his body go, if you watch the replay. Feels it, and fell the right way but I was going back to you kind of have to move to a location one, where one, the best one. players are yeah. you want to be a pro with this sport you got to practice with the pros every day so you need to kind of move to one of probably five locations around the U.S. to practice with these people every day I'd say Austin Texas is high on the list too in yes. Utah yep absolutely yeah you tell Salt Lake it's kind of like one, the one. the home of the PPA tour in a way <laughs> Such a great scramble from Cliff Staxrude having to earn it. 174 career wins on the PPA Tour. Staxrude has just 47 losses. Not easy to do. No, it's impressive. And, you know, I hate to keep making the comparisons to tennis, but pickleball, you know, you come to these tournaments and you play Three, four or five singles matches Point. every week, you know, over 20 tournaments. So you're playing, you know, you're playing 100 matches four, during the year. And, and to be locked in and mentally focused for the majority of those is difficult to A third game situation here against the Nine world eight. number one, Federico Staxrud. And the run continues out of the break for Staxrud, who lost it there in, in game two. Five, one. 
Made some uncharacteristic misses. Locked in now in game three. And this has been a match of, of runs. Game one, fed with the 11-2, and then game Jack one. Jack Sock Hunter Johnson race continues at the bottom. We'll fill you in in a moment. Boing. Miss return. So Jack Sock coming into today needed Hunter Johnson to lose in order to have Seven a little one. bit of cushion if he made a semifinal run. Now it seems like Jack might need to make the final right. to have a chance. We said earlier Hunter Johnson with the in the fortunate position for him. He got a yes. default from Roscoe Bellamy. Hopefully Roscoe's okay and we'll see him back because Roscoe's another one of those singles guys that I, I live near Roscoe. We practice a decent amount. One, seven. He's got so much up. He's already an extremely talented single pl singles player, but he's um, one of those guys no one wants to see early in a draw. He's a big guy, big serve. But it's a good start from No Way Cliff with a pass. Two, seven. He was there, just couldn't quite get enough on it. And Cliff was at risk of crashing into the boards. And as these players get more athletic, they're going to have to make these center courts a little bigger, <laughs> yeah. right? We need we need 50 feet on all sides of the court Seven to give three. them room to run. Oh, oh just yeah. deep. Great movement from Cliff. Gets a hold of the drop volley. Eight, three. Stacks are in, took a tumble in game two. Side out. Looks like he's bleeding there on that elbow side. Cool, right? Sleeps. Makes you makes you feel cool when you got a little blood. <laughs> <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears. All right, sometimes it's you not not to Three, say you're eight. embarrassed when you say you're a pickleball player, but you know it's not football, it's not <laughs> basketball. But when you've got a little blood on the arms, it gives you a little more street credit. That's too good from Staxrud. Look at his start to finish on the release off this roll volley. Eight, so much forearm strength. Crafty return from Noe Cliff. Gets the volley down two and a side out chance. Crispy winner <laughs> down the line, and it was called wide, immediately challenged by Noe Cliff. Immediately, that might be the fastest challenge I've ever seen in pickleball. Such a great volley from Stax Root. It's Eight, four. I know it's a volley, but if, you, if we did have a replay there, he Point. uses his legs so well when he's at the kitchen. He's got strong quads, strong lower body, and that's part of the reason he's so effective up there and so talented up there because he can put so much Nine, trust four. in his lower body to kind of control his balance. Point. Match points for Federico Staxrud. 10-4. Upset alert, Samantha Parker takes out Brooke Buckner in three games. That's the two seed that went down and an inside out finish 
for Federico Staxrude. No upset here on center court. He gets his 175th 